Hello, this is not a spring chicken today. Okay, it's Monday. Monday is one of those days where everything's in slow-mo and I'm trying to remember what were the highlights of the day? Oh, you don't need to look any further than the president and health care. Wait a minute. Don't worry. They're going to make it mandatory. Oh, didn't they say that already? What else are they up to? Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And the political divide reaches historic depths. Oh yeah, they, they, okay. I mean, the, okay. You can tell people that there's a massive, you know, a civil war on the verge of happening, and they won't listen to you. I mean, the press doesn't want to talk about it. The people don't want to talk about it. Yet the division between and this is the way it is. The division between the conservative on the right and the Democrats, but there's a massive division between the people on the left and everyone else in the nation, because. They want the nation to be a socialist country. I, mean, I just got a thing on like Facebook where, you know, that you know that Germany will make the Republicans understand that a socialist government is the type of government we should have in our nation. Those are liberal Democrats flat out saying now that they think that we should uh, abandon democracy for socialism mm -hmm. because everyone will be so much better off under a socialist government. Of course. They're on the verge of throwing Merkel out in Germany because she's spending so much of their people's money. So I guess socialism doesn't work, does it? Mm -hmm. And NASDAQ writes payouts for Facebook IPO glitch, the Wall Street Journal. Oh God, yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's getting NASDAQ, basically what happened was NASDAQ was putting this, the brakes on it, and instead of saying, well, we knew something was wrong, they're paying money in fines to the government instead of simply fessing up the fact that we knew that, Na okay, I, I keep hearing it, Facebook was a single digit valued company and they sold it for $44 a share and people are, they've lost their shirts on it and every day it hits a new low and it will continue to hit a new low until it goes to uh, back to the price that it should have been to begin with because they can't monetize it. Oh. Totally cannot make it work on the um, on apps. And first juror selected for Sandusky child molestation trial. Yeah, and by the time they got done choosing the jurors, they were they uh, let's see, ten out of the twelve jurors have ties to uh, uh, to the college, and two of the four uh, alders have ties to the college. And what they're going to do is they they already the opening statements are going to be that you have to understand it doesn't make any difference whether you convict Sandusky or not. They have already said they're going to sue the university. So a conviction of Sandusky just puts more money in their people's pockets. Mm. And Buffett sees little chance of U.S. recession. Well, he's the only one. Okay, Buffett is heavily invested in re-electing the President of the United States. Remember his Buffett rule? He also doesn't pay income taxes and he owes fortunes. And I'm assuming like all those other people to support the President, the President is giving him a rake off on the taxes he owes. But he believes that billionaires and billionaires should pay their fair share unless they support, unless they support Obama, then you don't have to. A New York City taxi driver gets six months in airport fare flap. Oh yeah, it's got to do, you can, um, they, they have fixed rates for taking people from one place to another. You also cannot take you, the, you must have your flag up at all times if you're a transferring person. What they do is they say, well, we'll take you here for $100 and they don't put the flag up. That's against mm -hmm. the law. And depression therapy phone sometimes as good as in person. Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't work. No matter, there's no okay. There's no real therapy for depression instead of going out and, and doing something that's non-depressing. <laughs> and police say man assaulted child after a water balloon fight. Yeah, they, 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 okay. You think that's a replay? Uh, the, no, that is again. They said what is happening is adults are now getting involved with children in balloon fights, in squirt gun fights, in paintball what? fights, and, and basically when they lose, they beat the hell out of the kids. What are they involved in the fight with them for? <laughs> because they, uh, they, they simply put their nose in where they, they weren't, in, they're not invited, they just horn into the game. Gosh, they should know better. And you know what? They are still the adults. Yeah. And Obama sends Queen Elizabeth a diamond jubilee message. Yeah, he probably sent her a personal, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, recording of him singing a song. And this is the way the world ends. A volcano should could darken the world. Yeah, that's uh, basically okay. We're gonna try. Oh, hey, 
the yes, the bullet's got to explain things to people. Volcanoes put out more pollution every year than all the automobiles, one volcano, than all the automobiles in industry in the world. And the more, the more volcanoes that go off, the more pollution. And this stuff stays in the atmosphere. Sooner or later, if enough of them goes off at once, guess what? We have a really dark planet for about a year. And bold and conservative to gather in Chicago after Wisconsin victory. Well, yeah, they're, um, they're basically, uh, okay, the, I, I'll show you how bold they are. The President of the United States has doubled down on everybody. And uh, Chicago is going to raise, ta you know, the, because the last tax raise didn't help to bring in money and chase people out. Well, in order to put more money in, we're going to raise more taxes. And that will bring people into the state to work. Mm-hmm. And lawmakers vow to investigate alarming and unacceptable leaks. Well, uh, the Democrats are all on the other side of Obama this time because this guy for re-election has put people's lives in danger. He blew the, you know, first of all, the President of the United States is not allowed to have a hit list. They told everybody he's got one. And I did hear one of the Democrats, uh, you know, I'd like to see how many Democrats are on his hit list. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, they, the President of the United States wouldn't do that. And he said, well, he's not supposed to have a hit list either. And now they released it to make him look butch that he's got a hit list. So, you know, if you piss off this President, he'll put a missile in your, up your rear, as they're saying now. And accusers' credibility key in Sandusky child sex abuse trial. Well, yeah, because um, I never believe people that come forth years later and are also looking for money. If they'd have paid him off, none of these people would be testifying against him. So, oh. if you're doing something for money, I mean, like, a, well, 25 years after her father died, she came forth and testified. You know, she wrote it in a book that her father had abused her, and that, um, or, or the book, you know, such and such, like, um, Jose Ferrer used to beat me continually. Ooh. The guy was a pussycat. And lawmakers, justice must move fast on Lake's inquiry. Yeah, and um, they're, they're bait, like I said, um, but they, the, uh, the people running the election campaign have said that uh, we have faith in the White House being able to conduct an investigation of itself. <laughs> they got the, the foxes, you know, investigating the foxes raiding the hen house. And James Whitey Bulger's girlfriend faces sentencing. Yeah, they figure that they, 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 they teach you to blow the whistle on somebody because the feds will toss you out of jail on another charge. And small California town shocked by family murder suicide. Yeah, I, 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 I never understand somebody knocking off his family. I mean, that I don't. That never made sense to me whatsoever. You want to, you know, you really have to be unhappy with your wife and children to, to axe them off. So. An ex-Goldman board member charged changes mind on testifying. Well, yeah, because these people, okay. You don't want to go in front of the Congress of the United States and say, take the Fifth Amendment. That, mm -hmm. that makes you look guilty. If you, don't te if you don't testify, they can just hold you in contempt. But if you testify and lie, <laughs> you can go to jail for a long time. And megachurch pastor Creflo Dollar denies beating daughter. Ooh. Oh, I know. Um, and, and folks, he's, he's not a white megachurch leader. And ex-football, I know, but it, I mean, for a megachurch leader, it's like... He's, a, he's one of the largest black churches in the country. You've got to remember that a lot of Afro-Americans think, okay, that, I, I, this way, that um, uh, years ago, the athlete Bo Jackson was talking about, he, he said he, he didn't want to go to college, he, he did become a Heisman Trophy winner and all this stuff. And he, he, uh, he, he, his mother, his grandmother took him out in the backyard and had him dig, dig a hole. And he wanted to know why. And then she said she hit him right between the eyes with the, um, the shovel. Are you and then he woke up with her burying him because she what? said that uh, she said she wasn't going to have a grandson of hers end up a thug. She said she'd kill him first. Afro-American parents really tend to get pissed off at their family members if they get unhappy. Do you think they were unhappy? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, and that's, well, and the other part is, is the one of the things in religion, like politics, is an accusation is just as well as... Oh, it, it finishes I mean, your career. No matter whether you did it or not, the accusation itself. Yep. Yeah. Um, Ex-football players dead in Auburn shooting. Oh, yeah. Two, one current player and two, dead, two um, former players 
you know, they said nationally where somebody said something about somebody's girlfriend and then somebody pulled a gun out and started shooting people. Animonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, if you forget what got you to where you're at, you never can ever recapture it again.